Hi there, this is the family fork trap in the Budapest counter gambit and I must warn you this trap is rubbish. We're not looking at it for any practical value whatsoever, rather for its aesthetic appeal. After d4, knight f6, c4, e5 the Budapest, white takes on e5 and knight g4 hits the pawn on e5. F4 defends the pawn on e5, but this is a very poor choice by white since it allows black to continue with bishop c5 with a great game for white for black hitting f2 and white is going to struggle. But if black prefers to try d6 instead, then perhaps knight f3 would be white's best move. Instead, white tries e4. Again, not a good choice. Black can capture now on e5 with more or less equality, allowing a swap of queens. But black goes for knight c6 instead. White now should give back the pawn with a clever move e6. However, if white swaps pawns on d6, then black gets a lot of active play. Bishop takes on d6. And again, if white goes wrong with e5 hitting the bishop, this is where the fun starts for black. Bishop b4, check. Bishop interposed on d2. But that allows knight e3 hitting the queen because the bishop on d2 is pinned. If the queen goes to b3, hitting the knight now on e3, the other knight joins in, joins in the action with knight to d4 hitting the queen. And not on the cards is queen takes e3 because that allows... Knight c2, which forks about everything, the king, the queen, and the rook. So the queen moves over to d3, but this allows bishop f5, and the queen now has nowhere to go. She has to capture the knight on e3, but that's forbidden fruit, because it allows knight c2, and that forks the king, the queen, and the rook, and it's game over. So this has been the family fork trap in the Budapest. You've been advised not to try this one at home. Thanks for watching anyway. Bye-bye.